Morning. Our last topic for our Tough Questions series is does science contradict the Bible? Uh, as we look at things like evolution, as we look at things like miracles, how does that line up with the Bible? So we went out and we interviewed people and here's what they said. What do you, how do you think the Bible lines up like with science? Do you think that there are places where science contradicts the Bible or how, how does that work? I think it's just a lot of mystery, you know, it's a kind of a pattern of discovering itself with one with the other. Okay. What about like uh, miracles? Would that does that contradict science? No, I don't think so. So, like, would you say that Jesus works or God or whatever works within science then to do a miracle or how? I think he kind of is science. You know, there's not really any definite definite guidelines. How do you think like the Bible fits with like science? Like, how do you think that works? Um, with science, I would say you can relate certain things, but um. I would say science is a, a separate field. You can't you can't take everything literally in science. Um, but I believe you can take the Bible literally for what it means. Okay. What's your name? My name's Craig. All right, Craig. Nice to meet you. I'm nice David. You. Uh, we're asking people like what they believe about stuff. Um, what do you believe about the Bible? Like, what do you think that is? Um, uh, I believe it's a book with like a bunch of morals, but I don't think it's really necessarily true. Okay. And why would you say it's not true? Um, because history, like science, evolution, contradicts a lot of the statements and claims the Bible makes. And, and how, how would you say that science con contradicts it? Well, I mean, Christians, I just got hand, uh, handed a flyer about uh, intelligent design on the other side of the bridge and how uh, dinosaurs, you know, somehow, you know, somehow it just didn't add up. And I was just like, I mean, I go to college and I learn this stuff and you can't convince me that that science is telling the lies and Christianity is telling the truth, you know, because um, I'm not really a person of faith. I just kind of go by what I see and what I think is, you know, the most reasonable thing. What do you think, how do you think the Bible then lines up with, like, science? Does that, do they go together or how do you, how do you think that works? Are they just exclusive from each other? That's a good question. Uh, Thanks. <laughs> I, you know, I don't really know. Um, I haven't really thought of the Bible in a science kind of context. Um, I guess the closest I've gotten to thinking about it in a science way is with creation and how God is created. Is it evolution or is it God, whatever, you know? Uh, hey, uh, miss, could we ask you some Oh, <laughs> Krista, you, you go to school here. I do. Oh, so you do. Uh, we're asking people tough questions today. Um, oh. I'd like to ask you some tough questions. Um, <coughs> When was the War of 1817? Um, probably around winter time of 1817. Just kidding, there was no war then. Um, <laughs> next question. Uh, <coughs> what weighs more, a pound of bricks or a pound of feathers? Well, probably a pound of bricks, David. Actually, they're both a pound, so they weigh the same. <laughs> one, one more question. Oh. <laughs> um, who do you think is probably the coolest person to work for ever? Mm, probably Dan Leverance. 